Hi, this is Dr. Nick from the ECG Academy with Chalk Talk number six. Now, I want to get right into this one because it's a great tracing. It's a common problem that most people don't think about. And I want to introduce it to you here on our sixth rhythm Chalk Talk. So let's get right to it. The first um, strip are two leads running simultaneously, and then you have a second strip of the, from the same patient. And if you look at the first strip, you can see a fairly normal, regular-looking EKG with a P wave and a QRS complex and a nice-looking T wave. If you measure the rate, let's take this one, we can count off 300, 150, 175, 60. So it's a little bit faster than that, about 64 beats per minute on this beat. And so it would look like a normal sinus rhythm. It's a little irregular, though. And so let's take our calipers out and measure it. I set these calipers up for about 64 beats per minute. And what you see is the first order error interval is actually a little bit longer. And then it comes down to the 64, and then it looks a little bit faster. And this order R interval is a little shorter, as is this one. And if you measure this one shorter, and then it gets longer again. And so what we have here is a very common abnormality known as sinus arrhythmia. It's a slight irregularity in the sinus rhythm, and it happens because the sinus node is influenced by changes in the autonomic nervous system. The vagal nerve in particular will cause changes, very rapid changes in heart rate that can cause the R to R interval to vary from one beat to the next. But this is normal. Sinus arrhythmia is considered um, a normal variant. So now let's get to the second strip. If we, uh, well, let's look at this T wave and the T to T uh, appears to be regular. And if you place it on the caliper on this QRS complex, you can see that there seems to be a QRS right here that um, is probably on time. Uh, this one here, I would say. And then, and then you have what looks like this um, seven beats of, um, of a rapid, irregular looking signal with a rate that, let's count it off, 300, 150. So it's about 165, maybe 170 beats per minute, but it's grossly irregular. It comes down to 150 here. And you're not really sure what it is, but you think, hmm, maybe this is a run of non-sustained ventricular tachycardia. Once this is over, you see that the normal sinus rhythm uh, comes back again, in fact, very quickly. But, um, you know, what bothers me, the first thing that bothers me is if this is a QRS complex, and it looks like it, because it looks a lot like this one, and it occurs on time, how can a PVC start so soon after the QRS? In fact, it almost seems to start with the QRS complex, right? On the top lead here, that, that doesn't make sense. And then if you kind of uh, look through this tracing, you see something, in fact, you see this signal. That looks just like this. So you start to wonder, is this real or not? Well, let's look, get our calipers back out again. And um, if we map out these signals, and given that there's a little bit of sinus arrhythmia and you'd expect a little bit of irregularity, um, there seems to be something that's uh, right here. And if you bring our calipers back out, this beat occurs on time. Um, within with plus or minus a couple of small boxes, but remember, there's a little sinus arrhythmia going on. So what do we have here? This is artifact. In other words, our EKG systems are picking up little tiny electrical signals coming from our heart. But since the EKG electrodes are on your skin, it can pick up other things. It can pick up your muscles. It can pick up your scratching yourself. If someone shakes the wires, those signals can be picked up. And all those things are artifactual. They're not real. They're not really the EKG. They're just uh, external interference. And that's what this is. It's artifact. And it, as such, it should be ignored. You wouldn't put a strip like this on the patient's chart. You just throw it out. You have to recognize that this is not real. Why? 
Well, this first signal here started on top of the QRS, which physiologically can't happen. You also have a regular QRS in the middle of it, and you can't have a regular normal sinus beat in the in the middle um, sandwiched between two uh, beats of ventricular tachycardia. It just can't happen. So keep this in mind when you read the strips, because I promise I'm going to show you um, more of these artifactual strips. But um, this is a great lesson to be learned, and uh, I hope you keep this in mind, that not everything on paper may be real, and you have to recognize that there are uh, limitations in the technology that we're using. So that's Rhythm Chalk Talk number six. Remember, log on to ecgacademy.com to watch a whole series of videos from basic to advanced. Let me help you become an ECG expert, too.